Uh, my presentation is about the healthcare seeking behaviors of Panya tribal youth during the COVID-19 pandemic outbreak. Reflections from Bainat, the tribal pocket of Kerala. As we all know, the COVID-19 outbreak has become a major threat to world nations and which putting the indigenous community uh, who has been living with limited resources in a geopardy. Uh, this study is about the Pania tribal community in Vainar district of Kerala. Uh, under the socio-political and economic considerations, Pania tribe is one of Vainar's most backward tribal community. And, uh, this coronavirus disease is an illness spread by SARS-CoV-2 virus, according to World Health Organization. And this pandemic has had a significant impact in highly populated countries such as India and China. Where the government has implemented a complete lockdown to prevent virus transmission, not only in India and China, all the world nations went for a lockdown to prevent this virus transmission. When the first instance of COVID-19 was recorded in Kerala, uh, in India the first COVID case reported in Kerala, and at that time the state uh, health department and government took precautions and halted the spread. However, then in the next stage. Between July and August 2020, there was a significant increase happened in the number of cases uh, in the second wave of the pandemic. And the disease spread over rural areas with few resources to combat, combat the synergy, which rural Kerala controlled through the community mobilization. And this is the uh, representation of the uh, pandemic uh, spread. Uh, in Kerala from 13 January to 31st May 2020. And when we are coming to the tribal community, the Paniya and Katmaika tribes were particularly affected by the disease, which could be owing to their distinctive tribal culture and communal living. They are living in uh, as a habitat and within a house there are uh, one to three families, uh, extended families are living. And, and the youth numbers of the community indicated that younger population must uh, throughout um, must work throughout the transmission period to support their families, and that while they are grateful for the government's distribution of food kits, the supplies are not a part of their food culture. Even the government tried to supply the kits for all the people, uh, but uh, in the case of tribal community, uh, the food materials were not apt for their food culture. And this paper is an attempt to inquire and understand the unexpected outbreak of COVID-19 pandemic in the tribal areas of Vainat and healthcare seeking behaviors of the youth community, youth Pania community, through a descriptive study adopting qualitative methods. And the objectives are to understand the socioeconomic conditions of Pania tribes during COVID-19 outbreak in Kerala, to study the individual and institutional healthcare practices of Youth during COVID-19 outbreak and to identify the factors of Pania youth during COVID-19 outbreak. And this is the uh, conceptual model which is derived from Anderson and Davidson and some literature reviews. There are four factors influencing the health-seeking behaviors of youth that are socioeconomic factors which includes age, education, occupation, family size, family income, ethnicity, in institutional factors, uh, that means distance from health facility, accessibility of healthcare institutions, approaches of health professionals, and satisfaction with the health services, and the individual care factors. As in the case of uh, COVID-19, the information about the health, health and the practice of COVID-19 protocols, such as wearing face masks, scientists using sanitizers, social distancing, quarantine, all those things and self-medication and traditional medicine practices among the tribal youth and health many factors which includes values about the health and issues, attitude towards the health service, awareness about COVID-19 and spread of COVID-19 in the city. And the methodology adopted for the studies is a descriptive design used to explain the health seeking behaviors of Pania youth in the COVID-19 outbreak and data collected through in the interviews and from the uh, secondary data from the mass media reports. And the participants of this study were the COVID-19 survivors from the sitting men uh, within the age group of 15 and uh, 15 to 29 uh, in the Panamaram Gram Panjad, which is the most populated uh, Paniya uh, populated um, Gram Panjad in the district. 
and the discussions and the socio-economic conditions during COVID-19 outbreak. And uh, we already discussed that Panya tribal community is classified as the low land or landless community with low socio-economic levels uh, in the uh, major tribal communities in Vaina district. And the uh, first wave of the pandemic, uh, somewhat the government and district administration tried to control the spread over the uh, tribal uh, hamlets. But during the second wave of the pandemic, COVID-19 spread throughout the settlement, affecting 37 people out of 103 uh, in a hamlet. And the, the hamlet which uh, became a cluster, COVID cluster during that time. And the uh, affected people who were sent to CFLT, CFL, uh, COVID-19 first line treatment centers, the government um, established uh, CFLTs for quarantine and treatment facilities of the tribal community uh, due to their inadequate facilities in their settlements. And uh, one of the youth member remarked that we have at least a house and toilet facilities on hand, but most of the families in our village are living in small sheds and even using nearby toilets. Uh, um, because they are extended families living in one house, uh, so it is very difficult for them to maintain the social distancing and quarantine within their house. And from this statement, it is clear that most uh, some of the families don't have even the toilet facilities, and they are approaching neighborhood uh, houses for their basic needs. And majority of the youth members were employed in daily wage labor, with female members recently being assigned to Mahatma Gandhi National Rural Employment Scheme work. And uh, the case was case reported during a mass camp, uh, medical camp for the NGNRGS workers, and they identified that one of them, uh, two of them were positive, and then they went to mass check, uh, test, uh, COVID-19 test. The government's efforts to halt the spread of COVID-19 through lockdown and social isolation ruined their livelihood because most of them engaged with daily rich labor. And an younger participant complained that most of our family members earn money from seasonal jobs like rice harvesting, coffee harvesting, and veterinary harvesting. Despite the fact that we had recovered from our illness, the landowner, landowners refused to work with us because of this social stigma. Even uh, one settlement became uh, the cluster of uh, COVID-19 uh, spread. After they are recovered from the illness also, the land other, I mean, other society is not uh, ready to accept them. Although all the participants were Panya members, uh, they were keen to learn about their future plans uh, after this lockdown and after uh, this pandemic what will be their livelihood options. They are curious to know about what will be the next step of the, uh, of the government uh, for uh, their employment opportunities. And the individual healthcare practices during COVID-19 uh, outbreak, um, because um, the, traditionally the tribal communities, especially Panya tribal communities practice the traditional medicine, but uh, now they are noticed that uh, one of the participants said that our forefathers practiced self-medication and naturopathy. Uh, and after them, we would go to hospitals for emergency treatment. Now they are not aware about the uh, traditional practices and most of them are approaching the um, government medical facilities. The Panya youth became vulnerable to suicide, health risks, and violence as a result of regular use of alcohol and other intoxicating substances. They, they complained about the community members, they would complain about the elder generation, about, uh, and also the younger, uh, that they are uh, very much addicted to the intoxicating substances, and which made um, mental stress during the lockdown and physical illness also. The Panya youth practice personal hygiene as a way of life despite lack of physical conveniences. When the younger people learn more about COVID-19 transmission and preventive methods, they were utilized with the mass sanitizer outside the settlement. Even they are difficult, they, uh, the circumstances made them difficult to maintain the social distance and quarantine. And the institutional healthcare practices of Panya youth during the COVID-19 outbreak is that 
Tribal villages are mostly found in Vainat's isolated locations or hilly terrain and to the lack of transportation and modern medical facilities, which made it a big challenge in front of the tribal youth. Uh, if there is a medical emergency in our settlement, we will first notify the tribal extension officer through the schedule to tribe promoter and they will organize a vehicle because there is no immediate transportation facility in our area. Uh, there are ST promoters in every uh, ward for um, facilitating the uh, uh, tribal settlements. So if there is any medical emergency, they want to go through all these procedures to get immediate transport facility because they are uh, living in uh, remote or rural areas. Although the participants were pleased with the quality of modern healthcare institutions and the attitude of the uh, district health professionals towards them. But uh, the nearby institution, lack of nearby institutions is a major, a major concern in front of them. And the health beliefs of the community. Uh, since the community used the variety of traditional healing methods in ancient times, the younger generations are familiar with them. They have been notified about COVID-19 through mass media, social media, and local level health campaigns since the initial wave of the pandemic itself. They are aware about all these things. And uh, in our settlement, two elderly members are not ready to vaccinate it. They did not trust the usefulness and refused the vaccine by claiming we never take the vaccine for any case. One of the younger members um, complained that because they are all are vaccinated uh, during the last phase of the uh, pandemic outbreak. And the elder members, uh, only two members in that settlement, are not ready to vaccinate it because they are not believing in this uh, vaccination and While concluding this paper, among the Paniya youth in Vainat, socioeconomic characteristics influenced their healthcare seeking behaviors, while the education and age influenced the health attitudes of the younger generation. According to the prior research studies and data evaluated, there is a good trend among younger generation to believe in and use modern medical uh, medical institution rather than the traditional healers. It was still an issue for the community in emerging scenarios as the high cost of private medical care and transport issues necessitated a nearby government health care center. As a response, it is critical to spend extra attention on the most vulnerable tribal youth in order to improve, improve their employment opportunities and ensure their livelihood. Even though the pandemic outbreak created an economic blockade among their less vulnerable tribal communities, they fought back hard against the spread and sought treatment at modern medical facilities. These are some references mentioned here, which used for the study. That's all. Thank you.